we can say that two shapes are similar if there's been a uniform enlargement. So all of the lengths of a shape have been multiplied by the same scale factor. Here I've got two cubes and cubes are always similar shapes. Because if you didn't multiply them by the same scale factor, so if you multiply the width by five, but the height by two, it would no longer be a cube. So let's look at these two cubes. So we've got a one centimeter cube, so it's got a width of one, a height of one, and a depth of one. And my two centimeter cubes has got a width of two, a height of two, and a depth of two. So the length scale factor we can see is two. To get from one to two, you multiply by two. How about the scale factor for area? Is it times two? So let's look at a cross section. So the, the square on the front of the shape, square on the front of both of these shapes. So for the one centimeter cubed, it's got a height of one centimeter, a width of one centimeter, so its area is one times one, which is one centimeter squared. For the two centimeter cubed, it's got a width of two and a height of two. So it's got an area of two times two, which is four centimeters squared. So the area scale factor isn't times two, it's actually times four, or I'm gonna write that as times two squared in brackets times four. And how about the volume? So the volume of my one centimeter cube is one times one times one. One times one times one is one. So it's got a volume of one centimeter cubed. For the two centimeter cube, it's got a volume of two times two times two, which is eight centimeters cubed. So the volume scale factor is times two cubed or times eight. And this is the pattern that we're gonna see when we're using area and volume scale factors. So the area scale factor is length scale factor squared and the volume scale factor is gonna be length scale factor cubed. So if we had a length scale factor of five, so if we had a length scale factor of five, our area scale factor would be times five squared or times 25 and our volume scale factor will be times five cubed or times 125. Okay, let's look at an example. The diagram shows two similar prisms. Prism A, our smaller prism, has a length of 10 centimeters and prism B, the larger one, has a length of 20 centimeters. Prism A has a volume of 80 centimeters cubed find the volume of prism B. So we can find our scale factor for length first. So what do we do to get from little shape to big shape? To get from 10 to 20. So scale factor for length is multiplied by two. So to go from little shape to big shape, we multiply by two. For volume, we're going to have scale factor cubed. So for area, we've got scale factor squared. For volume, scale factor cubed. So two cubed is eight. So the volume scale factor is going to be times by eight. So the little shape has a volume of 80. The scale factor is times by eight for volume. So we've got 80 times eight. Eight eights are 64. So 88 to 640, and it's in centimeters cubed. 
So that is the volume of prism B. Okay, one for you to try. So pause the video and give it a go. So again, we've got two similar prisms. We've got prism A, our small one, with a length of two, and prism B with a length of six. This time we're given prism B's volume, so 270 meters cubed, find the volume of prism A. So the scale factor for length, what do I do to get from two to six? So six divided by two times by three. Scale factor for volume is scale factor cubed. So three cubed is 27. Three times three times three. So to go from the big shape to the little shape, we're going to divide by the scale factor. So it's going to be 270 divided by 27, which is 10. So it's 10 meters cubed. Okay, a different type of question. So in two similar prisms, the surface area of prism A and the surface area of prism B are in the ratio 25 to 4. What's the ratio of the volume of prism A to the volume of prism B? So this is the scale factor for surface areas. So area scale factor is scale factor squared. So for area, we have 25 to 4. If we want to find the scale factor for length, we've got scale factor squared at the moment. So to find scale factor, we square root. So for length, the scale factor will be square root 25 to square root 4. So 5 to 2. So the scale factor for volume is scale factor cubed. So we're going to take our length scale factor and cube it. So 5 cubed, 5 times 5 times 5 is 125, and 2 cubed is 8. So the ratio of the volume of prism A to the volume of prism B is 125 to 8. Okay, one for you to try. So pause the video, give it a go. This time in two similar prisms, the volume of A to the volume of B is in the ratio 27 to 64. So this is volume this time. And we want to work out the ratio of area. So scale factor for volume is scale factor cubed. So to find the scale factor for length, we're going to cube root. So the cube root of 27 is 3, and the cube root of 64 is 4. And then to find the scale factor for area, we're going to square the scale factor. So 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. And one more example. So this time we've got two similar prisms again. Prism A has a surface area of 32 centimeters squared. Prism B has a surface area of 200 centimeters squared. And we're, we're given prism B's volume of 1,250 centimeters cubed. And we need to find the volume of prism A. So let's look at the scale factor for areas and we can work that out. So scale factor for area. So what do we multiply 32 by to get 200? So if we grab a calculator and do 200 divided by 32, that's 25 over four and I'll leave it as a fraction. So times 25 over four. 
So that's our scale factor for area. If I want scale factor for length, I'm going to square root. So if I square root 25 over 4, I don't have to use a calculator, I will. So square root the answer, that's 5 over 2. The scale factor for length is 5 over 2. And to get scale factor for volume, that's scale factor for length cubed. So this answer, cubed, and that's 125 over 8. So our scale factor for volume is times 125 over 8. So to go from little shape to big shape, we times by 125 over 8. To go from big shape back to little shape, we will divide by 125 over 8. So we're going to get 1,250 divided by our scale factor for volume. And that will tell us the volume of the smaller shape. which is 80. So that's 80 centimetres cubed. Okay, one for you to try. So pause the video and give it a go. So we've got two similar cones. We've got volume of cone A, 270 centimetres cubed. And the volume of cone B, is 640 centimeters cubed. So we can work out the scale factor for volume. And if we do 640 divided by 270, we will get scale factor for volume. And I'm just going to write that as 64 over 27. So that's our scale factor for volume. To find the scale factor for length, we are going to cube root. So volume scale factor is scale factor cubed. So if we cube root this, which is 4 over 3, we get our scale factor for length. And we want to work with surface area. So we're going to square the scale factor. 4 over 3 times 4 over 3 is 16 over 9. So our scale factor is times 16 over 9 to go from little to big and that's what we want to do so cone a is a surface area of 90 centimeters squared so we're going to do 90 centimeters squared times the scale factor so 90 times 16 over 9 so we can say that's 10 times 16 which is 160 centimeters squared Okay, two questions to finish up. So pause the video and give them a go. Question one says the diagram shows two similar cones. Cone A has a surface area of 35 centimetres squared. And cone B has a surface area of 560 centimetres squared. And cone B's volume is 3,200 centimetres cubed. And we need to find cone A's volume. So let's work out the scale factor for areas. So if I do 560 divided by 35, which is 16. So the scale factor for area is times 16. The scale factor for length is going to be the square root of that. So scale factor for area is scale factor squared. So to find scale factor with square root, which will be 4. And scale factor for volume is our scale factor cubed. So 4 cubed is 64. So if I want to go from the little shape to the big shape, I'll times by 64, but we're going from big shape back to little shape, so it's divided by 64. So 3,200 divided by 64, 
and that is 50. So it's 50 centimeters cubed. Question two, two similar prisms, the surface area of prism A and the surface area of prism B are in the ratio 36 to 49. So area is in the ratio 36 to 49 and we want the ratio of volumes. So let's find lengths first. So the scale factor for area is scale factor squared. So to get from area back to the length scale factor, we square root. So square root 36 is 6, square root 49 is 7. And for volume, scale factor is cubed. So we're going to have 6 cubed, which is 216, and 7 cubed, which is 343. So for volume, it's going to be 216 to 343.